um, the dimensions all correct. And so this is the the backing, the the interfacing, and the batting for the um, mug rug. In case anybody wants one, I just wanted to show you how I use this transfer tape to keep my mat clean from all the fuzzy stuff from the batting. Bed on it, and I'm trying to lay it as best I can on my standard tack mat and uh, smoothing out the bubbles as I roll it down. So I cut it close to the size of the cutting area of the mat and it already comes uh, the standard size so you only have to cut the 12 inches off. So then you take the paper off and then you put your batting down or you can cut small, smaller sizes of the batting. So you want the sticky side um, up. You want the non-sticky side of the transfer tape down on the mat. So that when you take that off, you can put your batting down. And I do have a few ripples in there, but it's not going to really matter with the batting. So now I'm just going to cut some batting to lay on the sticky and that way it won't mess up your mat. So I'm using just a standard tack mat. You can use your fabric mat if you want to, but it's really not necessary because the uh, standard tack mat holds on to this transfer tape pretty well. I like to use this thin cotton batting because it seems to behave a little bit better. So I'm going to try to just kind of get it started you can reposition it if you get it wrong. Just kind of stick it on there and work out the the wrinkles as you go. It's not going to be as flat as just putting it on the fabric mat, but for the batting, the batting is cut a little bit smaller than the project anyway. So it's going to work out okay. So that's pretty smooth and um, it's holding on to that transfer tape pretty good. So I'm going to try this out with the rotary blade on my scan and cut. All right, it's cutting out the last uh, battle piece. I was able to get four of them on there and it seems to be holding pretty tight and the uh, batting is not shifting. So uh, it's telling me that it's finished cutting but I want to make sure that it cut through before I pull the mat off and it oh it did really well so I'm gonna go back over to my cutting table I'm gonna go ahead and take the mat off of the machine I did get an error message whenever I first loaded this mat my scanner lever lever was set to one for thinner material but after it measured the mat it gave me a message saying I needed to raise the scanner lever so the lever that's on the left side of your machine I had to put it on too so that it would continue to cut and after that it did fine so now I've got just a scrap batting and it cut these perfectly so now my mat should be pretty clean without all the fuzzies from the um, from the oh I can't think straight from the batting but it looks like that I can leave this down and just put some more batting on there I'm gonna have a whole lot more little cut pieces so you may want to go ahead and just take it off now and because I'm never going to be able to line it up exactly so there's going to be some extra little cuts but then when I remove this off of my mat it has not left all the fuzzy stuff uh, behind so I think for me, I'm just going to go ahead and clean it off now so I don't have so many tiny pieces to remove. It comes off pretty well, and then I've got a perfect mat without all that crazy stuff on there.